What I thought I understood was that estrogen had went through this slow, gentle decline until menopause when it bottomed out and then you were zero. What I didn't learn until about three years ago, and I have to give credit where it's due, Nanette Santoro did this work in 1996. She had women collect urine samples, God bless them, for six months every single day. And she oh tried metabolites of estrogen and progesterone. She did premenopausal patients, perimenopausal patients, and postmenopausal patients, and measured that across the board. And what she found and published that never got widely circulated was that in perimenopause, you know, in, in premenopause, we have this very predictable ebb and flow month after month after month if you're having normal, regular cycles. It almost looks like an EKG. Mm -hmm. On day 14, your estrogen does this. On day 21, your progesterone does this. And it makes this very reproducible, predictable curve. In perimenopause, we go into chaos mm -hmm. because ovulation begins in the brain, mm -hmm. not in the ovaries. The ovaries just do what they're told.